What up people, this is Bonjo. Uh, today we're on a journey to the town of Kotlenice. Um, we're going to visit the caves of Vranjatsa. Or Vranjatsa. Um, it's on like the border town of Bosnia and Croatia in the mountains. It's about 24 kilometers away from Split. So that's about a half an hour drive. Now these caves are about 64 meters deep and um, they cross a couple towns there from Vanjice to Kotlenice um, and uh, the age of these caves they're miraculously uh, 65 to 70 years old 65 to 70 million years old sorry um, and they got created by an underwater lake and now the lake is gone and that, that's what formed these caves. Um, they got discovered in 1903 by a family and the family still runs it. I think the grandson now runs it. Uh, it was open to the public at, in 1923 to visitors and tourists and stuff. Um, so I can't wait, it's gonna be a big piece of history. And it's like these underground caves with all these stalactites and stalagmites and all that stuff. Woo, so let's get into the video. This is the Bonjo Show. This is not your show. We have traded the 905 for G O O B. This is Bonjo Show. Wow. We're in the town of Renyacha and Kotalina. Uh, look at this view. We just had to stop on the road to show you this view. Uh, we're on our way to the K's, boy. Uh, it's. Eh? It's family owned. <laughs> Dugo polie, oh Dugo polie. <laughs> and here it is. Let's go off the side of the mountain here. Posko. Look at this. Dugo polie, not Vranjica or whatever. Uh, and this is a. We seen a man down here with some goats. We just passed the car graveyard, and now we're going up the hill here. And that's it. Look at what we found here in Croatia. <laughs> Damn, we found we found some snow and not that. That's fun. Well, we made it here and look at the landscape here. And uh, I think down here is the cave as you can see all the green hanging down off the rocks. And uh, we came from this windy road. There's a cool old uh, Soviet uh, touristic tea sack booth, like a kiosk. Uh, we're, we'll take a picture, it'll be here right now. So we're stopped in the middle of this road. Look at this gorgeous piece of, uh, it's like a kiosk, a old uh, Soviet kiosk. Look at that shit, look at all the, ki look at this. All the goats, the guys are walking their goats up there. That's crazy. I wanna see a goat, I never seen a goat. And there they are, I've seen three of them today. But yeah, you're just sitting here. Give me an ocean with skull, my man. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's not open up for business now, but looks like they do a lot of cement mixing in uh, uh, Raki or Schliwovitsa. Uh, that's actual a old bottle of wine and some Heineken can. So, I mean, they still use it somewhat. And it's pretty cool. It's an old kiosk, an old tea sack where you can buy all your pornographic Croatian magazines, maybe. Um, and this, I don't know what this is. This looks like a part of a bus or something, an old school bus. I think it is some sort of bus or a trailer. And uh, here we are, we made it to the caves. Yeah, so those so those stairs I just showed you, the jaggedy ass stairs, you gotta come down all these little rocky stairs. Um, and then once you get down here, you can, oh, those fell. <laughs> you can sit down here in the garden, have a little coffee behind the mountains, in front of the mountains, and then this is the little shack. And basically, yes, it's beautiful. Okay, it's been I see we watch you outside, we, don't, we have video control. Yeah. 
down it's very good light and uh, not too much cold 15 degrees is great temperature for cave right? yeah. another cave is a little cold this cave not too much cold not too much wet and uh, sometimes inside we have uh, like therapy why some people the problem for asthma allergy. asthma uh, feeling much better in, inside inside more more the own very good oh so it's good yeah, for people yeah, with asthma yeah, yeah. yeah that's right yeah. and meditation also and concert too nice acoustic and, and, yeah. and very safe for singing uh, why another cave no another some cave no uh, because uh, you must be very quiet inside and uh, Maybe some strike height is broken and falling down. This cave is very, very, Solid. very, very safe. Uh, yeah. I tell you later why it's safe. Mm. Uh, uh, 65 million years cave is old. In the past, underground, go river water long, long time. And, Please wait a second. Uh, You're buttering. Oh, no, it's good. Okay, sorry. Today, mm. no more water, no river. We have first and second part. Part mm -hmm. 65 meters underground, first part is right. deep, 107 meters, second part, and a very big place for cave 8500 meters. Uh, first civilization, Neolithic cultures, uh, uh, 8000 years before Jesus Christ, they yeah. found this place. Nobody lived inside because Neolithic cultures, people building. Uh, house living outside but sometimes visit i think from spiritual ceremony uh, another culture also we know because inside we found some mask many sculptures of clay and the ceramic the ceramic is very very different yeah. and uh, my family also know for first part because outside is my family land yeah and back my office is old house and my grandfather 1903 discovered inside so this is your father grand great yeah grand, oh great friend grandfather yeah, uh, and found a very small pieces uh, inside and they found the second part oh uh, my grandfather discovered the old cave uh, make map and made space. all this yeah. yeah electric light this so is the first electric light in the cave in Europe. so your grandfather made it more for tourists i guess yeah <laughs> <laughs> or or is there like yeah. is there something was there something down there to mine or something yeah yeah and uh, my father also was working for a long time, the last uh, 20 years. Yeah. 20 years is me, my brother too. I will say uh, this is family tradition, everything do my family, uh, yeah. my government. Yeah. Protection, okay, but it's good. But uh, So more tourists should visit here. Uh, ah, yes. Yeah. It's, it's, this year, I think, no, but... And, uh, in this cave, and we have limit, you know, not too many people visit because no good for cave, you know. Yeah. Uh, but people oh. is coming, is, um, everybody enjoying this side. You sit down for second part, everybody say, wow, because it's fantastic colors, crystals, colors. So, yeah, you don't let people just come in here because then they'll just ruin everything, no, huh? No, no, me, and, uh, I explain down in the groups, you know. Yeah. I need, I need one hour. Yeah. But uh, for two people, no. Yeah. Uh, you belong inside, but no longer and you be in my control. <laughs> I see only watch you outside yeah. with, with your control. Yeah. Everybody's safe inside. Um, Stalactites are my two known. After steps, yeah. two, three meters. Part and go left size. And 365 meters, very safe part. If you want to go left side, 365 meter, come back right. Yeah. If you want to go right side, 365 meter, come back left. You go left because it's better if you go right, no big, no good today, because some light. In yeah. The light's no good to see. Yeah. After steps, two, three meter, and three steps left side. All right. Uh, enjoying the, the see you later. Um, yeah, we'll see you over Hopefully, <laughs> Hopefully we make yeah, it. Yeah. 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 You be careful in the yeah. steps. Some yeah. steps is little wet, not too much slippery, but be yeah. careful. You know, steps is steps. Yeah. And 500 steps in the cave, a big steps. Yeah. 500 steps in the cave. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. All right, then. Here we go, I guess. Yeah, so he just gave us a quick rundown of everything, and uh, here we go. No sunglasses needed, I guess. So I, he wants us to go what? Right or left? I didn't quite get that. Did you? What? He wants us to go left side or right side? Yeah, it's, 
Look at this cave, it's huge. This is the biggest cave I've been in. Ah, uh, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. This is not all I know. This is just the entrance. This is just the entrance. <laughs> but it's still big. Look at these little rope stairs. Now going up is going to be a bitch, huh? Yes. It's kind of cool though. <laughs> this is a, this looks like a war jail. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I was just, I'm just gonna film it and then maybe say stuff, maybe put his voice over it, you know what I mean? Okay, right, look at it. You can say anything. Not really, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I hope you all, you can see stuff here now. It's pretty crazy. Feels like Batman's cave. Shiny, right? Jeez, huh? Now this is cool. Look at all the stalactites. Oh, you. <laughs> I wanted to go over and take a picture like this, so. Okay. Look at this. This is definitely Batman's cave. Oh, hold on. Let me see here. Yeah, it's fairly slippery. Look at all the crystally stalagmites and stalactites. It's crazy. It's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see this, but uh, it's like the Chinese torture where they put a drop, a drop, 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 and then it slowly eats away at your skin. But instead of your skin, it's a rock. And so over the time, it makes this hole in here. You know what I mean? From the drip coming from the ceiling. Because it used to be an underwater lake that ran through here, and that's how you get it. So moisture still seeps through and uh, forms these things, I guess. These rock formations. Oh, look at the structure it's built. Look at all the stalagmites and the stalactites hanging and forming from the ground. It's crazy. It's like you can't build this kind of stuff. It's just natural formations. You know, it's beautiful. Yeah, my I don't think my uh, my flashlight on my phone is really working, but it's kind of working. <laughs> Yeah, it almost looks like chicken bones or skeleton bones, huh? Like all this stuff. It's pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, it costs uh, 50 kunas. Well, I, I don't know what he's saying about the tourists. He doesn't let a lot of tourists come here. Is that what he said? Uh, it's not. Just uh, uh, some group. Yeah. Uh, oh, just some groups he likes. No, no. You can come uh. alone, but uh, it's not, it's not in... And it's not that popular or something. So this roped off area here, um, you might be able to see a whole bunch of coins here. Here, put it uh, like a, I usually, yeah, I don't think I can see it, but uh, maybe like this. Um, the, it's usually a wishing well down here and it's filled up with water. Even though that you might see electric box here with some wires they still it still gets filled up with wires i mean uh, water and you throw your coins down here and you make a wish and i think basically that's what's what it is right is you that can, it you can make suicide if you like <laughs> 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 and then you got this this looks like a a demon's teeth or something you know what i mean like a, the devil's teeth i don't know it looks crazy to me like nightmares and those look like a bunch of bats hanging off the ceiling, but they're not. Shiny. Look how shiny, yeah. Do you know what kind of stone this is? I don't know. We don't know, but it's damn well nice, huh? It looks, it looks some sort of exotic rock. <laughs> like some minerals. Yeah. Yeah, see, it's good. At least this part's filming and we can see. <laughs> I don't think that a GoPro is good in the low light. I never really used it in low light before. This part's good. Yeah. Look at this. It looks like, um, what's that movie called? The Lord of the Rings, man. Like the, those, I don't know what they're called, the little trolls looking guys. Looks like this is where they live, you know? These look like, that looks like a little house right here. It's crazy. Little houses, like gnome houses or something. It's nuts. It's kind of amazing here. 
And look at that big, that looks like a shark tooth hanging off a ceiling. It's uh, I don't know. Which ones are the stalagmites and stalactites? Up. <laughs> yeah, you see it, this. <laughs> no internet underground, so whatever that is hanging off the ceiling, I think that's a stalactite. And stalagmites are coming from the ground, I'm pretty sure. Could be vice versa. But hey, if that dropped from the ceiling and hit you in the top of the head, you'll be pierced. Look at this falling, uh, well, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm pretty sure you can once I do the color correction. Look at this, huh? Well, is this all you can go here too? Look at this little bridge, it's, it's black. But I think I can do color correction anyways. Oh no, oh, no. Damn. Look how cool this place is. That, yeah, that looks like a little house. Look at the ceiling, the architecture. Who's the architect that built this? No. Look at that, the glistening, the shiner, the shimmer from the minerals uh, on these rock formations. I guess this is uh, from the water and all the stuff that, I don't even know. What's it from, you don't know. <laughs> the water drippings. <laughs> now look at this, this looks like a column that some rich guy would put on the front porch to hold their roof up. It's crazy. It's kind of hot in here, actually. It's hotter in here than it is outside, that's for sure. Obviously, heat stays in like an igloo. Look at this. Woo it's very slippery. So wear some trekking boots. Not like me, I wear Cortez. <laughs> it's crazy here. It's pretty cool for 50 kunas. It's well worth it, huh? This guy owns this whole property, so that means he owns all these caves. It's family owned because of uh, generation to generation has been handed down. And he looks pretty old himself. I'm sure he has some sons and some grandsons, like the. Like the prince and king, it's getting handed down to generation to generations to come, right? And uh, yeah, he owns all this, so I guess crush what you own above and below, you still own it. And for 50 kunas, I think it's well worth it. And uh, like she said, anybody that doesn't think this is worth it, this thing, here's the middle finger for you. <laughs> you can kind of see it actually. I'm surprised. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Everybody should come visit this place. 50 kunas, why not? But everybody can't because of what the guy was explaining was that it's uh, limited because he wants to keep the cave intact and keep the quality of the cave going because if there's too many tourists, I guess, shit can get damaged. Especially he was explaining about like when people make loud noises inside the caves, uh, some of the stalagmites and stalactites will break apart or fall because of the vibrations. And uh, yeah, I can see his point there. But this is Bonjo, I'm wearing your mom's cape, boy. This looks like I'm in hell, staring up to heaven and I see the light, the tunnel. <laughs> Take me God. <laughs> and we're almost out. Uh, you cannot see the flag yet, but we'll keep going. <sighs> so, yeah. Oh yeah, damn, I'm out of breath. <laughs> it's a lot of walking, like everywhere. And uh, we're done the little tour. Whew, ah, oh, shoot. I'm gonna sit down. <laughs> Jesus. Look at this big cock. Look at that lovely cock. <laughs> I, little chicken coop. Oh, it smells nice in there. It smells nice. I guess we can't go here, eh? Let's go over here. Check out this hole. Yeah, she was just explaining that this stone is the best. Oh, I want to go over here. I guess we can't really go here. No, we can't go. Yeah, we can. From this side, 
Yeah, this side's easier, yeah. Yeah, this stone is, this whole roof is caving in, or the shingles, or the terracotta roof tiles are falling off. Look at this guy. We got uh, Too Fast, Too Furious, Croatian style. Oh, you can buy this? Is that what this is? What? Oh, that's what this is. You can you can get uh, lessons from the guy that the Croatian too fast too furious. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, see, this is like the real, the real old school Croatian style bricks. She's explaining where the heat stays in and the cold stays in. Look at this little barrack. <laughs> it's crazy, huh? <laughs> Yeah, now this is this is what creeps me out. This this is snake heaven right here. You don't want to go in there, you know. I do. <laughs> Shit. Let's go in here. Let's see this. I don't know if you guys can see in there, but it's like the whole roof. Can you see through that window? The whole roof is down. Oh, damn. All right. So beside the the gorgeous cock cage. Um, we got this little nice little shanty shack uh, and this is a traditional sack to harvest all your fruits and vegetables from the ceiling this is a very old see it see the material it's made out of some uh wool or something and uh yeah croatians this is a traditional croatian bag a sack to carry all their stuff and now they make uh these actual more of a fashion one too uh like a uh, handbags like kind of in fashion for like farmer village people, I guess. I don't know. And uh, yeah, look at this beautiful piece of land here. Yeah. Look at that little cock, yeah? So as we're driving, we see this guy. He used to be the general of uh, the Croatian army during the war days in the 90s. Uh, his name is General Praljak or something like this. And uh, see it says, uh, I don't know if it's better here. It says hero at the bottom. And um, during court and De Denag and uh, the Amsterdam court, the Holland court, the big Supreme Court for the war criminals. They uh, were gonna sentence him to 20 years in jail. And he got up, made a prayer, drank the poison, and died right there in front of everybody. So he's viewed as a war hero. And uh, he was the general against the Serbian uh, or the Yugoslavian uh, aggressors. So he's a hero, as you can see. And that's him, General Praljak or something. I'll put the name at the bottom and I'll spell it out for you guys so you guys can Google his history. And uh, yeah, it's the first actual uh, mural or uh, memorial or statue that I've seen of this guy. And he seems like a hero. He's a right on guy, that's for sure. Thank you. Here's a nice statue of the biggest celebrity on the planet Earth, Jesus. And the rock formation out back uh, comes together and makes a Christ. I mean, not a Christ, a cross. And we're out front of this. Um, <clears throat> look at this old church. Look at the roof tiles up top are actually just bricks. And it's all the old bricks, the old style Croatian bricks. And look at the, the landscape and the format it is. And here's this. I don't know what this means. Nebo iste. I'm not even gonna try to read that. Ya sam si vama. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Here it is. And we're gonna go inside this church and try to check it out. I don't know if we're allowed to say anything in church. So here it is. We're gonna give you a little quick tour of the church. Look at the ceiling. We got Jesus up there. I'm not gonna talk in here. <laughs> So the owner of the place gave me this uh, this mining light. So now all the other lights are off. So basically, we're gonna try this again with the mining light on top of me head, my man. Uh, I'll tell you, you wanna burn off your winter tits? Whew, use this shit. Come climb these stairs for God's sakes. Oh man. Yeah, you know what's crazy? There's no bats or nothing. No wildlife, nothing. 
Just witness. Uh, here we go. Now we're trying it again with this light. We got the cages. Now it looks ultra creepy. <sighs> Look at this. We'll try to get some uh, glossiness. Ooh. It's spooky. Ah. Oh, look at this. Look at all these stalagmites, like I said. Look at this. The little, all uh, oh, this. This looks like a sculpture. You see the two heads, and you got the arms wrapped around each other. Then you move down here, you get the butts. Looks like two people hugging almost. All right, look at this. And we'll go see the, all the, the mineral glass on these rocks. Look at that. The rock formations, man. Crazy, huh? It's crazy, look at this. And then you get down here. Look at all this. Wow, it's nuts. Look at all this stalactites, stalagmites galore. Jeez, man. Yeah, it's pretty cool down here. I suggest everybody come visit us. Give this family a nice uh, payday. Uh, come visit all this stuff. It's beautiful. It's amazing. It's only 50 kunas a person. That's 10 bucks to visit. I mean to uh, Come visit like mother nature's creation. Like look at this This is nature from 75 million years. You know what I mean? 75 million years. It's crazy, man. I swear. So uh, Yeah, come visit here. It's in Vrenica and Cortalina uh, by Dugopolie and it's only 30 minutes from Split, and everybody that comes to Croatia usually goes to Split, so come visit this, baby. Uh, and here it is, and this is bunching them out here. Don't forget to buy a t-shirt. Uh, www.thisisbonjo.com. Um, like, subscribe, share. And uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram at thisisbonjo.com. Well, not .com, I always say .com though. And I'm out here, boys, and we're walking back. Uh, I just want to give you a quick tour just in case all my other footage was a no-go and now we're going back out to Yugoslavian prison like no no